Lou Hodges, having been a player previously for Wimbledon and now temporarily in charge of AFC Wimbledon, what does it mean to you personally to be taking charge of this remarkable story at this time? Well, obviously immensely proud, you know, uh, go back a long time with this club, I'm a local boy, you know, it represented the Borough Merton and brought up in Mitcham, um, so, but they're mixed feelings because of the circumstances, so, you know, taking that into consideration, it's still, it's still something that, you know, that I'm going to, you know, I'm going to stay with me and I'm really proud and I hope that, you know, it's a success while I'm in, in the seat. Absolutely. What's been the response of the players since they've come in this morning? Well, I, mean, I think everyone walked in this morning. Everyone was shell shocked. I know the news was out yesterday, but we sat down and spoke um, at a quick meeting with them. Uh, Joe's going to speak to them tomorrow and just basically sort of challenged everybody and challenged the staff and myself included to improve, get better. And can we, however this process takes, can we in a better position? Can we have more points on the board? And can we have a bit of momentum, gain a bit of confidence moving forward? That's, you know, that's a challenge I don't know quite. You know the length of time it's going to be, but you know we'll give our best, and, and that's what we can ask. I've seen you operate out there on the training ground pitch as a coach, and the demands you make of players at times to step things up. Do you draw upon your own experience as a player with Wimbledon at the times that you've had to, to go through, or do you know? Do you think you can see them? They know what they're fighting for out there. No, they know. They know, and you know it's, it's a draws an experience at all clubs, and an old experience you've had. You know, I've been mean, caretaker a couple of times, not quite in these circumstances, but. You know, you know what's required. You're stepping in. You know that you've got to keep things going. The players, the players, you know, demand that. They, you know, we we've got to set a stall out. We know what what hard game it is the weekend, um, and we know the position we're in. So it's still clear. Nothing's no, nothing's changed in that sense. And we're just, you know, we've got to we've got to make sure that we you know we, we we get get moving and get some uh, results in sooner rather than later. And of course, you've got Vaughan Ryan and, and Ashley Bays in that dugout yeah. with you. Yeah. Can you draw upon the likes of perhaps Nick Dawes, who's got a good good sort of grasp of this level as well? Yeah, yes, but I speak to Dawes anyway because Dawes is doing the, 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 you know, the match analysis, so he sends us all the reports up. So I speak to Dawes quite a lot. Uh, Mark Robinson will step up, he'll come up uh, for the weekend. He hasn't been coming to games, he's been watching the line players, but he'll come along the weekend and I've got him a bit closer. So, you know, I think when, when, at times like this, everybody mucks in, everybody is trying to help. Everybody wants the best for the club, and uh, and that's the way it should be. And not, not expect anything less. How important is that having Robbo there as well? Because he knows a lot of these players that have come through, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah. It's nice. To, you know, it's nice to. Have, you know, he, he, I mean, I know Wally well, and we, we spoke and we picked each other brains, and it's nice to have a, a, you know someone else to throw ideas at, and and, and, it, and vice versa. So you know, it always adds to the mix. And um, you know, if, if he comes in and, and gives us that little bit of info or that bit of impetus, then that's what we're looking for. Do you have a plan and, and a style that you stick with that's been working on this season, or would you be introducing your own methods as well in this now? I'll be tweaking things. I'll be looking at different things that I want to introduce. But again, I mean, you can whatever system you play, whatever formation you play, it's, the, it's about the players. The players will make the formation work. So for me, it's about instilling a bit of confidence, getting them on the on the ball and, and playing a bit and, and and enjoying the ball as opposed to at the moment sometimes they get a bit tense. It's a hot, it's a bit of potato and it's up and they're a bit hectic. So I'm going to encourage them, we did this morning, and they looked, took it on very well to, to slow down and, and, and use the ball a bit better and, and show your ability on the ball uh, you know, and, um, and see, see where that takes us. Peter Murray, ninth position in the table. They lost the last game to Doncaster, they drew before that. Previously before that, they were on a very good run and they've got somebody like Marcus Madison as well. What kind of game are we setting up for? Oh no, they're, they're a good side. They're a good side. Um, and Tony and I say up, up front as well. Um, they, they, they're a real threat. They scored a lot of goals between them. So you know they, they we know exactly how they play. We've been working on it today. So we're doing a combat, and they've got some. Uh, you know we, we we know exactly how we want to play as well. So it's putting them ideas across and putting them into action. We we'll do again. We we'll do it again tomorrow. We've got Friday. We'll have another session. Just just nailing them down, and and then Saturday, come three o'clock. Let's hope we put them into practice. Team news wise, we were hoping to kind of have the London Senior Cup game to play this week as well, which would have given some game time. Yeah. Unfortunately, got called off. What sort of situation are you anyone doubtfully or missing now? Well, it's been a it's been a tough week really because of the weather as well on Tuesday and the, and the, the game being called off. Uh, it's, it's, it's a few there probably hasn't been as many many sessions as a couple who have had the session we would like to. The ninety minutes at um, at the Met Police would have been massive for the likes of Woody, um, but unfortunately it wasn't to be. So you know it's you know he's still in the squad, but I'd like to him a bit further down for for the for the start in the eleven. But the, no, there's there's one a few little tweaks, one a few carrying little groins and little tweaks, but. You know, tomorrow we'll have a, we'll have a roll call and, and I think I'm in, my idea, in my mind I have an idea of what we're going to be doing. So anyone definitely ruled out would be Rob McDonald? Yes, and Marcus. He's got the band. Of course. He's got Marcus. So we haven't got Marcus, so 
uh, now and then let's have an opportunity for us to, and we need to, he's obviously in a good goal scoring vein, so we need someone to step in alongside him to, if it's going to be him and somebody else, whatever, but the challenge is there, the challenge is down for everywhere, we need goals and goals win matches and don't care where they come from, but obviously um, start banging them in. Just finally as well in adverse times, what's your message to these supporters, it's such an important part of this club? Well, I, I mean, I, I think uh, having, having uh, part of this club for all my life, I think it's near enough 10 years that this club I've had in one, one position or another. Um, they've been with us last year, they were, they were brilliant in, the, in the, you know, the end of the season running and we've had some great times and now we're looking, that we need them, we need everybody on about everyone rallying up, staff and the players, also the fans, you know. We need to get behind the players, we need all the help we can get. Um, and it's not over and it's not over and done with. We're we're more than capable of getting out of the situation. But you know, while while we're going up to Peterborough and the games that are coming on while in this in this period, we just want their support as always and I'm sure they'll give it to them. We we we're giving our hundred percent on Saturday to make sure we can send a shout out. And that's a massive thing as well, isn't it? I mean, confidence spreads towards a team. If, you, if it's good on the terraces, that will help the players as well. Yeah, but it also, I don't know, it's, it's chicken and the egg. We've got, we've got, you know, we've got to put the performances for them to get to back us. But you know, it's, um, it, it, you know, we still want them to be patient with us. You know, it, it's, it, it's confidence is key in any football team. So any mistakes, you know, it's, it's how do you react and how you pick them up? And with it being a young team, it's, sometimes it's quite difficult for them. The older ones seem to, you know, they could, they're used to it. They know they make mistakes. So it's, uh, it's just making sure that. As a, as a group and as a club, we're together, we fight and we move forward and we get out of this mess. Good, thanks for your time and best of luck. Okay, thank you. Thank you.